Okay, a geologist is analyzing the erosion of a coastline over the past five years. The table below shows the relationship. So in the chart, we see that the top row is time, and that's going to be X. The bottom row is cumulative erosion, and that's going to be Y. We need to press the following buttons. You may want to write these down. We're going to press STAT, and then hit Enter on Edit, and we're going to type the X's in list one, and we're going to type the Y's in list two. So we'll start with typing the time in list one. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, we're going to come over here and we're going to type the other ones in list two. At this point, we need to turn our scatter plot on because if we were to press graph, we would not be able to see anything. So we press second and y equals, and notice that all the plots are off. So if we press enter, it's going to pull up plot one, and we're going to press enter on own. Now, notice that we need a scatter plot, and we don't need a box and whisker. Later, this is going to come in handy. There's several options we have here, but we need a scatter plot right now. So we're going to leave it on scatter plot, and we need to see the graph. So if we press zoom, and we go to number nine, then we're going to see that it's zoom stat, and that's going to allow us to um, see basically what we just typed in. So we'll press enter on zoom stat, and there's our graph. Now I have a couple thoughts here. Uh, based on the graphs that we just looked at at the top of this page, it's probably exponential, but there's one that I did not mention at the top of this page, and it's a power regression. So we're going to try both of them and see which one fits better, whether it's exponential or a power regression. So Let's start by trying exponential. We're going to do something a little different than we've done in the past, so follow closely. Press stat, go over to calc, we're going to go down to the exponential regression. I think it's number zero, there it is, number zero, and we're going to press enter. Now before you press enter again, I know you're eager to find the equation and so am I, we need to see which equation is going to fit best because if you notice the question says what type of regression best fits the data and we have a couple guesses. It could be exponential or it could be a power regression and actually if you want to get technical it could be quadratic as well. And we're not sure so we're going to stick with exponential for now and we're going to press VARS at this point. VARS is the key that is highlighted in red right now on my uh, screen. And we're going to go over to YVARS and press enter on function and enter on Y1. Now let me tell you what that does. In a minute when we press enter, it's not, not only going to give us an equation, but it's also going to store that equation under our Y equals. So we'll be able to graph two things at once. We'll be able to see the scatter plot and the equation of the regression. So we'll press enter and there's our equation. And if we press graph, now we'll be able to see not only the scatter plot, but the equation that it just gave us as well. And if you want my personal opinion, I'm not too pleased with that. I think we need to try the other one because it misses a couple points and it's not exactly right. So we're going to try the other one now. Let's quit. Second and quit. And we're going to press stat and go over to calc. And we're going to try power function. I'm not feeling quadratic, I'm feeling a power function. And, and I'll tell you why I'm feeling that is because it looks like it would pass through the origin. Because it passes through the origin, that's a really, really good indicator it might be a power regression. So um, here we go, we're at letter A, we're going to press enter. Now let's go over to VARS, over to YVARS, function, and now we're going to store this one in Y2. And, and here's the reason why. If we have one of them as one equation and one as the other, we'll be able to look at both at the same time and decide which one is better. So let's hit enter, and there we go. Okay, so there's the power regression. So if we press graph, we'll see the first equation, exponential. Second equation, Mmm, looks better, and that's the power regression, and it looks a whole lot better. So I think we'll go with the power regression. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to write it down, so second, quit, 
And the last thing we typed was this, and it gave us that equation. So we're going to write that down. So right here where it says write the equation, actually up, up here we're going to put power regression. And when we write the equation, we'll look at the screen and we'll put uh, y equals a, which is 0.95, x to the 1.73. Okay. Now, once we have that, we'll be able to answer the next question. Now, keep in mind that when you're doing this, that is x, that is y. Most of the time, that is the case. So using the equation, how much erosion can be expected after eight years? Well, years is time, so that must be x. So y equals 0.95 times 8 to the 1.73. We'll type that in the calculator. Once we type that, we'll have our answer. And keep in mind, our answer is going to be in terms of feet. So y equals, you type it in the calculator. 34 point, let's do two decimal places, 